Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Asin Parasali. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the difficulty level of question paper and what kind of question has been asked for the SPARC OCS Biosciences 2024 examination so that it will be really helpful for those students who are going to prepare the upcoming years. Okay. So first with regarding the difficulty level of question paper, the question paper was easiest to moderate level. If you are already prepared for CSA exam means then the question paper will be easy for you. If you are rigorously prepared for CSA means then the question paper will be easy for you. Okay. So don't compare this SPARC exam question paper with the gate exam or ICMR exam or DVT with GIF exam or CSR examination. Back exam question paper is just equal to NEET examination. Okay, because it is the easiest question paper I had ever gone. Even it is easier than your gate examination. Okay, so don't worry about the difficulty level of question paper. The difficult the question paper is not at all difficult at all. At the same time, the cutoff is also very less. For 300 marks, if you are securing 100 and more means, you can easily clear this next round that is interview round. So that's the biggest disadvantage. Just in CSR exam, there is no interview round. But for this bar examination after clearing this written examination you need to go for interview round and that is the toughest ever round okay so the difficulty level question paper is very easy okay so next with regarding to type of question asked totally 100 question has been asked and the 35 questions were repeated so it is repeated from previous year uh, CSR exam part b questions gate exam icmr dbt because i had wrote all the exam like i had wrote okay, csir i had also uh, also wrote this dbt icmr and gate so i know the difficulty level of all the questions okay so 35 question has been repeated from these year so if you don't have enough uh, thing to sit and study means just purchase a previous year question booklet for this gate excel gate bt csir icmr and this dbt badger so totally five exam uh, question bank just purchase and just solve them a uh, daily and note down the important topic and prepare notes only for the important topics if you prepare notes only for the important topics means then you can easily clear this examination because in bar examination highly important and highly repeated questions will be asked for example you can expect question of uh, blast program like blast p blast 10 and about this gram staining techniques dna polymerases rna polymerases pcr crispr cas rnai and about this uh, dna repair pathway like that most common questions you can expect okay so i already published the important topics if you had studied those topic means i think definitely you are going to clear this round one okay so if you're going if you're planning to prepare for the spark exam for bar ocs 2025 means please follow the thing that i had mentioned over here because i wrote the spark examination the only motive for me is that not to clear this examination of course it's the one motive but my main aim is to know the difficulty level of questions because spark is not going to release the pyqs that's the biggest disadvantage and last year also I got given the examination and from last year question paper also this time two question has been taken from last year bar biosensors 2023 examination okay so please watch my words watch this video continuously until the end I have shared many inputs for your bar examination next 10 questions were problem the problem is a many question has been asked from amino acid uh, thermodynamics enzyme kinetics and from genetics also uh, like monohybrid cross dihybrid cross pedigree and hardy and equilibrium like that Usual question has been asked regarding the problem time and statistics two question has been asked one question is regarding to the statistical test like t-test, ANOVA, sky square uh, test like that okay. So next five questions with GK, GK means not the general GK from newspapers and all it is based on our subject like it is most commonly it is from food technology and chemistry it is a combination of chemical engineering and food technology so i couldn't be able to give correct answers for these five questions that's been asked from gk if you came across those things means then i think uh, you can also give the correct answer but last year and this year five questions will be definitely asked from uh, gk so you can't expect 12 standard physics or 12 standard chemistry or 12 standard mathematics just study your bsc notes alone that is well sufficient okay so next 50 questions will be asked and that is those 50 questions are memory based and they were direct question okay and it was bsc level okay so another thing i want to i had observed the question paper itself there will be many trap questions will be there so just read the question again and again at the same time just read the option because for a single question there will be two option will be correct but those two option will have minor differences only those students who have studied who have enough deeper understanding alone can give correct answer okay so don't think once you go, came across easy question don't just blindly give correct answer just read the question again and again so there will be many trapped questions will be there okay so that's how bark is uh, playing the role of setting up the question paper so it will be easy but if you read through the question they will be having few a uh, thing will be there 
okay next thing what are the subjects that you need to focus so first study cell biology that is unit number 2 which is very very important just concentrate on number of chromosome dna content that problems will be there number of chromosome in metaphase anaphase metaphase 1 and anaphase 1 what is the difference between chromosome and chromatid uh, banding techniques like that you need to focus next cell communication is the important friends so there will be question asked from four protein sorting there will be three question has been asked from protein sorting alone okay so next thing they were the question regarding to cytoskeleton intermediate filament actin filament gtp hydrolysis like that from cell communication cell biology can, i can assure you you can expect 10 questions so easily you can score 30 marks by studying these two units next molecular biology again five questions as usual molecular biology is very very important so with regarding to bar examination in molecular biology you can expect more questions from transcription translation dna repair pathway and recombination last time one question has been asked in repair and one question has been asked in uh, DNA uh, recombination this time only one question has been asked in uh, uh, this particular um, molecular biology that is one question has been asked from DNA repair pathway like the role of AP endonuclease uh, okay and from molecular biology just concentrate more on transposons also is very very important and few molecular biology related techniques like CRISPR Cas RNA techniques and you need to know about tRNA amino acid tRNA all those things and about the translation inhibitors okay next is biochemistry so biochemistry is very very important but only thing is that i don't like biochemistry because it needs to analyze a lot more thing in biochemistry and since it is a classical subject people can manipulate many different concepts and sometimes it is collapsing you so question that has been asked from biochemistry is not easy for me the only reason is that i didn't study biochemistry completely if you are well good in biochemistry then ultimately at least five questions you can expect from biochemistry next is unit 12 that is applied biology and unit 13 this time one question has been asked for callous differentiation name the two hormones that is implied it is oxygen and cytokine and next there was one question asked from ethylene hormone what is a precursor amino acid for the ethylene hormone so unit number 12 study about agrobacterium plant tissue culture animal tissue culture and unit number 13 is very very important and compared to last year this year also equal number of questions has been asked from uh, this techniques like one question has been asked from native page and another question has been asked from emsa and dna fruit printing and i think many questions has been asked from techniques maybe in the next video i'll be sharing you the i have noted on the questions for you okay so don't worry we are going to discuss the questions also very soon so please subscribe to my youtube channel okay next microbiology is again and very very important don't ever leave this microbiology and it is very easy like there were one question asked me there, there, there were three tubes there, there and lab attendant failed to mark the three tubes and he had cultured three microorganisms like bacillus e coli and klebsiella so how you will be differentiate how you can identify so there were many options where they gram staining negative staining acid for cell like that there so the correct answer is gram staining because one is a gram positive bacteria and another one is a gram negative bacteria so if you know the principle behind gram staining you can give correct answer at the same time there were uh, some other questions also asked from microbiology i don't ah uh, vp test bogus progress test uh, they had asked about the principle behind that particular vp test okay uh, so uh, maybe in the next video i'll be giving you a complete questions and along with that i'll be trying to provide you the answers also next immunology is again an important one thing uh, one question has by, came from hypersensitivity reaction another question has been came from mhc another question has been came from complement another question has been came from graph so you can expect five question but last time 10 plus question has been asked from immunology so don't don't ever leave this immunology okay the next thing subject not to focus so don't study these subjects like first is developmental biology of course one only one question has been asked from developmental biology that was with regarding to the uh, signaling pathway so that will also comes under cell signaling in unit number four like uh, patch receptor frizzled receptor wing pathway and hedgehog pathway okay so only one question has been came so that will be coming under cell signaling so just skip this development of biology completely and evolution again one question has been came from devil evolution like regarding to bottleneck effect and natural population natural selection and uh, founders effect there were one question and they had asked four option and they asked which is the correct one okay next ecology one question asking came r and k selection
So if you have already taken notes for this ecology, evolution, development and biology, just read those notes. If you don't miss, just leave, skip this because one or two questions alone has been asked from these units. Next, plant physiology, you know, don't try to study. Just concentrate only on plant hormone that is well sufficient. Animal physiology, don't ever study. There were one question alone asked from animal physiology that is also high altitude physiology. Like in high altitude, whether BPG will be increased, why it is increased, what is the reason behind that? Like they were filling the blank kind of question. There were many statement kind of question has been asked true or false kind of question has been asked and match the following type of question has been also asked molecular biology they had asked about prokaryote and eukaryote they were comparison has been given replication factors important thing regarding to this prokaryotic replication and eukaryotic replication that is new to back examination so they can they had taken the csar questions and they are asked that in back examination next with regarding to book and resources so if you ask me whether pathfinder is sufficient for you to clear this back examination and there is no you you are going to prepare for csr exam okay so don't try to prepare for this back examination just prepare for csr examination the reason is that back examination there is no previous questions available the same time they don't release the syllabus but when you take the csr exam they have released the syllabus at the same time there are previous questions has also been there so download the csr exam or syllabus and just uh, replicate the csr examination syllabus see csr exam is just like your base for your gravy so when your mom prepares a gravy, say it is a chicken gravy, mutton gravy, egg gravy or paneer gravy, what she will be doing, she will be mixing onions, tomatoes and with some masalas. And in that gravy, base gravy, if you add chicken, it is a chicken gravy. If you add mutton, it is a mutton gravy. If you add some fish or if you add some paneer, it is a paneer gravy. So your CSAR is base just like a gravy. So in that if you add bark exam inputs, you can clear bark examination. So, bark examination is for those students who are struggling to clear the CSR examination. Means you can utilize those notes for clearing this particular bark examination because the cutoff is very less. For 300 marks, if you have secured 100 plus marks, means then for sure you are going to clear this examination. The only disadvantage is that for CSR examination, after clearing JRF, you can directly apply for PhD program and that PhD they will be interviewed on. But in the bark examination, there will be two rounds of selection will be there. First, you need to write a written exam and those who have qualified the written exam will be called for the interview round. An interview round is the toughest among all the PhD entrants in bulk examination and many students are having many uh, positives and negative with regarding to bulk examination. So, don't worry, just prepare for CSR exam. Just aim for the June 2024 examination and after clearing the CSR examination, then apply for GATE and then apply for this bulk examination. Don't focus only on CSR examination, focus other exams also. So, this is my first impression about this bulk OCS 2024 examination. Okay, so thank you friends, thanks for watching this video.